What's different coming from Eternal Wahabi is that um, the competitive ladder on Hex is played best two out of three. So like you saw us building our reserves, which are extra cards that you bring in in between rounds. Oh, I should have put... You want a you Fig Newton? I should have put another copy of Exalted Knight in our reserves. That card's really good against the Dreadlings X. Well, this hand is a good example of, you know, Tri Shard decks. Hey, look at that. I even guesstimated the size of the deck list almost right there. Put it up a little bit too high. Yeah, that's probably fine. Cover, cover my champion set a little bit. We have Diamond and the Lasgar's Blood Sworn. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to mulligan this. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan this. <laughs> so yeah <laughs> all right we're gonna keep this five <laughs> this deck's gotta be awful right just like mono unkeepable hands <laughs> so these wells only make thresholds if you already have one of the two thresholds this can make. So if you have a diamond, this can make ruby or diamond. If you have a ruby, this can make ruby or diamond. So we have blood here into a well that can't make a threshold. So hopefully we draw a diamond or a ruby source next turn. Oh god. Oh. And again, we're gonna play at least, I have, I have a two match minimum rule. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pass the turn here. We're not gonna. We're not gonna play this out. This deck might need some primal prisms. You're not wrong. Thirty-two beat. Ah, all right. Opponent appears to be playing the Red Links deck, so let's just board. Yeah, probably should be some Primal Prisms in the reserves. Yeah, I, for I actually forgot about Prisms when we were putting the deck together. So, that seems super reasonable, actually. I'm just I'm just gonna hit Submit for now. Actually, not. I talked about being able to reserve, and then we're just not gonna do it here, because I don't know what this deck's doing exactly yet. Is that a good Strawberry Fig Newton? Yeah, we need to get to 10 Necrotic so we can play the third Racial Shard. Uh, yeah, this hand's keepable, right? Yeah, we've got... This can make... Alright, so this needs to make blood for us. We don't currently have a human for this, so we'll play the diamond on one. And then we can make blood with this on two. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna put two Primal Prisms in the deck after this match. Probably cut two Diamond Shards for them. So Primal Prism, for those who are wondering, it's a slow shard, but it can make any thresholds. Functional shard, steeper keeper, exactly. Yep, opponent is playing the Blood Ruby Aggressive Redlings deck. Llama Herder! Alright, let's play this out for a Ruby. And then look at that, we have a human for our Cobblestone now. I'm going to play the War Party Guide to start here. So War Party Guide is a 2-1 for 2 with Swift Strike. It means he deals his combat damage before the non-Swift Strike troops. Whenever he attacks, if the top card of our deck is an Ardent Troop, we get to draw it. Lascar's Blood Sworn. Sweet. wonder how good our War Party Guide is today. Man. So, the rule on War Party Guide... We had an opponent earlier today that they drew with their War Party Guide every single turn. When it's your opponent's War Party Guide, it's going to draw every time. When it's your War Party Guide, never going to draw. All right, we're playing a game here. Played a two drop on two. Played a two drop on three. Feeling good. Boo doo 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 doo. We need another Fig Newton. These are technically Strawberry Newtons, huh? Got to keep it. Got to keep it technically correct on the up and up here. Wow. We'll tilt the cam down. You know, get some Jake cam in our lives. This is my oldest. For those of you that are new to the stream, I, I am a father of two. Jacob uh, is a little bit older than three. We're on spring break this week, right? Spring break! No preschool! There's an Underworld Crusader that's going to smash in here. Next turn, we get to go Llama Herder. So we're going to take five here.
Continue to declare defense. Block one of your 1-1s. One take five. We get to decree plus Llama Herder next turn. Right, play this out. We actually have one double ruby card in the deck. So the dual race card is double ruby. Where are my war party at? Never, never on top of my deck. That's where. <laughs> Alright, play this Decree of Banishing and get rid of this Underworld Crusader. It voids it so my opponent doesn't get their Death Cry trigger. We have to go ahead and play Llama Herder out here. And then next turn, we have three different races of Ardent Troops here. This Pulverizer will give all of our troops Rage 3, which means when they attack, they get plus 3 power permanently. So they're going to be real big and scary. Real, real big and scary. This is sweet. Like, our deck's playing powerful cards, so when we can play them, our game plan is coherent. Like, the problem is just, like, can we play them consistently enough to make it reasonable? Uh-oh. You go 3-3, three, three, you mean? Because we're, we're definitely... Alright, so he's cremating my Llama Herder. So we're going to sacrifice the Llama Herder to Lasgard's Bloodsworn. Give this rage. It's going to die anyways. Um, going 3-3 three, three could make sense. Look at the We can look at the resources a bit more after this match. Please attack me with everything. Please attack me with everything. Yeah, okay. So we're not dead. And we're probably going to kill them on the crackback here. Are we actually going to kill them on the crackback? Uh... No! <laughs> Alright, so they had Lasgar's Vengeance, which says deals 4 damage to each opposing champion and troop, but they had attacked enough that it only cost them 1, so... We did. Alright, let's take a look at our resource base again here. Want some prisms. I think it actually makes sense to not play the Blood Ruby well. We probably want to play the ones that make Diamond. Uh, actually, we probably want all Ruby Wells, right? Because these both make Ruby. Both our Racial Shards make Ruby. Yeah, that probably makes the most sense. Since Ruby's our base shard, we want, we'll have Ruby most often, so these will be least dead that way. So, with this count, I've got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 diamond, which is definitely a little bit short. So, now this is 5, 6, 7, 8, this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 diamond. And then, as far as ruby goes, we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, that's probably too much ruby at that point. And then, how much blood is this? This is... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that's probably fine. Right, let's save this and head back into the queue. What are my thoughts on Angus and McBombus's standing at the moment? Um, I like the McBombus decks a lot, but I'm also I'm also prone to enjoying drawing cards, so I'm probably a little bit biased in my assessment there. As, as a simple man who just likes to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, we still have the most ruby, right? And, like, we don't need ruby. Like, they can still get turned on by the other two. So, like, we have ten ruby, non-well ruby sources, basically. I think that's reasonable. Lutosaur. Oh, oh. You're sliding off my lap, kid. Yep, yeah, sign me up. It's gonna be look like a, a blood diamond deck this match. You're all done. All right, that'll finish. Keepable seven on the first try. What a skill game.
So that Quash Witch Rubble doesn't currently make a threshold because we don't have an orc in our hand. Okay, so they're playing Ruby, Ruby Diamond as well. Another Quash Ridge Rubble that doesn't make a threshold, God bless. Oh, this is the person earlier who just like kept drawing with their War Party guides, right? Do you need something to drink? Yeah, you need something to drink? Alright, I'm gonna go drink a drink of water really quick to wash down his, his Strawberry Newtons. All right, it's a little unfortunate that we have to play this Quash Ridge Rubble without uh, without an Orc here. But uh, the Crusader does have speed, so we get to do that. Um, I'm not going to attack with the... Uh, am I going to attack with the Slama Herder? They played Totem Trap last time. I feel like I'm not supposed to attack with this into Totem Trap. I'm just going to attack with the 4-4 four, four speed Crusader. Just gonna hit with the Speed Crusader. There's, there's his War Party guy drawing all the cards. Make a Valor, sure. We do have two pieces of removal in our hand, so hopefully they Valor this up. They don't Valor here. They're like 10 out of 10 have the Totem Trap and we need to play around it, right? I'd love to draw an Orc or a Ruby here. Alright, I think we just decree this and then we wait to play this. I don't really have anything to do with the resources this turn. And I would like to... I'd like to ideally make Ruby wood if we draw an Orc so we can play these Exalted Knights. Exalted Knight's going to get boarded out in this matchup because it says non-Ardent Troops enter play Exhaust, and we're playing an Ardent Mirror here. This will still just be a, you know, 4-3 four, four, with speed next turn, so it's going to do something this game, but it's like not going to have a high, high impact in the matchup in general, I feel like. We get kind of punished for not playing this out last turn if we, like, draw another resource this turn. And then, like, can't Crusader plus Decree. Just act actually every time. <laughs> actually every time. <laughs> it's almost funny, right? Hey, look at that. We hit a... We hit a thing. Hit an Orc to make that shard work. So let's play the Exalted Knight here. Hmm. How am I attacking? I feel like I'm just attacking with these two. First swing didn't draw. Look, I am going to be results-based, and the only ones I've paid attention to have drawn cards. There's the Totem Trap we talked about them having. And I attacked with the Exalted Knight into the Totem Trap because I didn't want him to block Totem Trap and then switch strike down my Ardent Crusader. You just have a second Totem Trap. That's, that's exactly what happened, even though we didn't want it to happen, so... You know, we played around it to the best of our ability. Is what it is, what it is. So this gives them a Valor for each Ardent Troop they control, so they just got plus three Valors in their hand. It's unfortunate. So we're getting cracked for seven, eight here, probably. What's the reason to play this over Eternal or Magic? Um, the, the competitive... The fact that I can play competitively from my home is the big draw to someone who's played a lot of magic for a long time. Whoa, he didn't draw any cards! Wild. 
just gonna take this hit here. What am I doing here? I think it's just decree this. Oh, did we poop? Alright. And then we're gonna play the Righteous Outlaw and then smash with Herder and Outlaw. Yeah, magic. Th this game is closer to magic than Eternal is. It's it's a, probably a little bit more complicated than magic in some ways. Their game designers have been doing a better job than magic's game designers in recent years, and they have a very reasonable competitive scene for their game. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to change the diaper, and then we can talk some more. So I was thinking about it, and I formulated my thoughts. The big, the big thing here. All right, I gotta decide what I'm doing here. Ooh, ha! Huh. That's a lot of Swiss striking power on the opposing side of the table. Oh, this card's really annoying. Whenever I play another card, my other cards get plus two cost. Pretty sure I'm just making a valor with this. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Gorge of the Gore God can give one of my opponent's troops minus minus. Huh. Part of me wants to just play this Ardent Crusader, but another part of me wants to gorge this. Yeah, I think I'm going to play the Ardent Crusader out here, and then we're going to use the Llama Herder to exhaust this. And then pass the turn. This could start triggering again next turn. So, anywho, the big reason I feel like, so, Eternal and Hex are have similar gameplay, but there's... There's like, it depends on what type of gameplay you're looking for, which of the two you should be playing. Eternal is much better at sound bite. I'm playing a little bit here and there, short, short gameplay, short bits of gameplay. Hex, on the other hand, is a better game if you're looking to like really sit and get engrossed in the game that you're playing. Yeah, Eternal looks to streamline things and focus on having the gameplay be fast as opposed to the gameplay being deep. And there's nothing wrong with that, it's just a different approach to how the games are designed. Uh, I think I'm just double jumping here. Yeah, I'm just going to double jump here. Yeah, you're right, I definitely could have uh, gotten the Phantom back, and maybe I should have. Not 100% there. All right, so I'm going to transform this into the Scarlet Swordsman. Can I just kill him here? A scale of one to dead, where are they at? I guess I need a second Ruby at some point. Um, so this can deal two, two. Gorge God deals four, four, and then smash. Yeah, that seems great. Um, I'll leave one off of this. This will be two and then three so I can get back this phantom if I need it to block nobody 
the, the people saying certain games are all skill or no skill, they're lying to you. All TCGs have variants by design. That's just how they work, you know? That's just, that's just, it is, it is how it is. Like, that's, that's a good thing. And then we're going to go ahead and attack with all of these. It needs two removal spells here because the Scarlet Swordsman's going to trigger and heal. Man, look at that. Our deck did stuff this game. Sexier devs die. <laughs> How's it going, Ryan? Ryan might be biased in his opinion there. Right, Ryan might be biased in his opinion there. Cheap Shot sounds great here. They've got a bunch of a bunch of X ones that are annoying. Uh, Gorge of the Gore God sounds fantastic because we want to kill their stuff. Um, I was thinking while we were playing something that didn't see. Oh, Exalted Knight. We said wasn't going to be great, right? Because he, uh, they have all Arden troops. That seems a reasonable cut. I don't think I can cut anything else, right? Yeah, because I need ten for the Arden Crusader. Um, the Righteous Outlaw Llama Herder synergy was really good there. Zaka is just, uh, this card's actually probably less good because they have blockers. Maybe we don't want all the Gorge of the Gore Gods. Correct, yes. There's definitely games that have more and less variants, but, like, saying a oh, game has no skill, I feel like, is a stretch. A Tremazania, maybe? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, let's try this. I'll be right back. My toddler just opened the door and ran upstairs. Apologies for all the interruptions today. So I feel like the upside to keeping this hand is pretty huge. Um, we're on the draw. If we hit an orc or a ruby, we're in really good shape. So I'm going to keep this. And even if we brick on both of those, we can just play this as a shardless shard and play herder into non-speed crusader. And we drew an orc like a professional. I feel like that's yep perfect. Look at look at the resources coming together. Uh, I think we're supposed to hurt her to play around the totem traps here. I don't want to just run righteous outlaw headlong into this. Look, everything worked out perfect, Tom. I don't need your lip, okay? Just so we're just so we're clear here. Nope, none of, none of that lip stuff. All right, there's our blood. Look at that perfect, perfect thresholds, just like we drew it up. And then, do I want to jam Ardent Crusader down his throat? I think I want to just start triggering these Llama Herders, honestly. So, Llama Herder A can exhaust Llama Herder B, and then Llama Herder B can exhaust Llama Herder A, and Llama Herder says whenever he unexhausts, we get uh, llamas. Makes a, makes a two-two llama. Llama llama, it's a llama, it's a very funny llama 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 farmer llama 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 duck. I lived in a tree house, I lived in a cake, but I never saw the way to orange like the rig. Llama llama, it's a llama, it's a very funny llama 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 farmer llama 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 duck. Memes that are as old as the internet. Uh, we have two Zakaz in our deck. Two. Just because. Oh no! A llama's been brought to justice! How rude. Please say llama more. Everybody everybody needs more llamas in their lives, right? Let's play this out. Uh, do we have a random work in our hand? Rage? Sure. 
The internet is older than memes. Get out of here. No, it's not. Um, I think I'm just going to play this Blood Fist out here that has Rage now. And then I'm going to attack into their Totem Trap this turn, finally. Oh, I forgot to plus this up. That's fine. It's getting Totem Trapped anyways. I'm going to leave it back as a blocker for this. Um, but this, when this attacked, it gave all the troops in our hand Rage 1. So these both have Rage 1 now, which is sweet. And this has Rage 2, Rage 3? How does that have Rage 3 already? Oh, because we attacked with two troops, right. And this gave it twice. I need a llama. Llamas are what I need. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. So you get to Valor Rowan mow down my llama. So hopefully we draw a non-slow shard next turn. So we can... Actually, we're going to be in an okay spot regardless, right? Like, if we draw a... Oh, f Ah! Ah! So Willy Boy found his puppy dog. And we are dead? I feel like we're dead. Yeah, we can't, we can't answer, we can't answer that. So William creates this really powerful dog in the deck, and every time he attacks, he pulls the dog up slightly, and then eventually the dog comes and slaughters us like that. Uh, yep, yep, uh, submit. Be on the play this game. Your opponent can flip the dog, why can't you? Yep, indeed. I mean, I guess he'd attacked, like, what, th three times? Yeah, he's a fairly fortunate, right? The puppers. Where, where are my dogs at? The question has been answered to the age-old question. Where are my dogs at? Bark, bark with me now. Bow, wow, wow, yippee-o, yippee -yay. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. Thanks for choosing to spend part of your day here with us while we battle some Hex TCG. In case you did not see the announcement, the 1K Clash event start this weekend. Get your sealed ready. We'll have every Sunday from this point moving forward, we'll have $1,000 in cash prizes to the top eight competitor, top four competitors, and prizes down to top 32 or 64, I believe, past that. Uh, yeah, sure, keep. We got Tezozo on two, possible, possible Prince Zaka on three. We're just going to curve, curve right on out here into Pulverizers and Zanyas. I think me and Joey are a lot like William and Rowan. Let's play this out for Diamond. Our life's like a diamond. Boom, boom, ba da dum, bum. Boom, boom, ba da dum, bum. Alright, let's run some shards off here. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Kinda perfect. We picked. That's the punishment for picking our threshold like we did there. So we don't really want a ruby here. We need, we need, we, we wanted a ruby there. We need a ruby threshold to play Prince Zaka next turn now. Just, just Sunday, single day event. Necropolis squares. I think I'm actually gonna cycle this here. I really need to find a ruby threshold. Which we did. Clearly professional. Pass the turn here? Yeah, not no reason to attack Tezozo into the Swiss Strike. I'm gonna draw a card here with War Party Guide. Oh, he didn't draw a card! They should file a bug report, their card's clearly broken. the war party. What am I doing here? Feel like I'm jamming this and smashing? Should I buy Forex prior to the damned or spend the plat on drafting? You should spend your resources on whatever you would get the most enjoyment out of personally. That is the the actual best answer. I'm gonna jam Zaka here and attack both my guys into this totem trap. Because YOLO. Oh, never not totem trap. <sighs> I 
Oh, we're super dead here. No, well, at least they didn't draw cards. We're gonna take four here, and then they're gonna get two Valors in their hand. This only has Rage 2. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're not Valoring that. Huh. Huh. Oh, my two drop went back into my deck. That's not a combo. I guess I'll play this in Smash. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty dead here. Alright. We will play one more with this and then we'll play something that could win some matches. We tried though. We gave it we gave it the old college try. Can't can't say can't say we didn't try. If there was if there was an effort grade, we would get an A an A in the effort column. I mean, the deck is almost certainly poop, right? We had some sweet curves, you know? God bless. Yeah, you know what? Let's... Let's focus a little bit more. Let's... I'm sorry. Let's... Let's delete this deck. Alright, it's gone. Um, let's, let's do what we set out to do and just play a deck with consistent resources and powerful cards. Let's, let's do that. Let's just... Let's start with... Let's start with the orcs I want. Alright, so... Oh, you know what? Let's build the Whirling Brutal... Let's build the, the like, Wet Dream Draft deck. Right? Like, the 4X four, the four Arena Regular Whirling Brutalizer uh, Zanya, the Blood Fist Lasgar's Blood Sworn Get these in a pile view here. Let's do do what we set out to do here. To Zozo's probably. This card's actually probably kind of medium. What else? What else should be in here? Yes, Arena Regular plus Whirling Brutalizer plus a couple of actual last guards. Yeah, that's probably fine. Is Lasgar better than Pulverizer? Maybe. We'll split them for now and see how they feel. Lava Shaper isn't terrible. I can be persuaded into Lava Shaper. So this is 18 orcs. That's plenty of orcs. So let's just look at Ardent Troops in general now. On Shard. We want them to be Ardent because we're going to play Marzul as our champion. And Marzul says whenever you play an Ardent Troop, gain a charge. Tongue of the Black Crucible. Where was he at? Is that a 3-drop? Feel like I've conscripted kind of that as a three as a three drop before. One four life drain, diligence just deals two damage, or transform this into a crucible. I guess we do have a high starting life total, right? The winemaker? Yeah, that could be okay, right? Whenever you play an ardent troop, create a random wine. Let's get drunk. Let's get drunk, fam. It's an elf too for like some pulverizer value. Sting, Shot, Sniper. Could be okay. Let's get some removal in here. Gotta reset the filters, right? Get some Gorge of the Gore God going on. This is... Having X cards in our deck is good because our champion isn't really good at helping us not flood out. Som helps with triggering Assault. What is S Som? S-O... Outlaw, yep. Lasgar's vengeance, almost certainly. And look at that! That's uh that's a perfect number of cards there. Do you have enough ways to enable this?
I wonder how Scarlet Swordsman and Whirling Brutalizer interact with each other. Means the deck has a chance we've got four Vengeance, right? Alright, and then so let's save as... Uh, Ruby... Blood... Orcs... Ah, same at Marzul. Yeah, Orcs, whatever. Sure. That curve, look at that curve, look how beautiful that is. Do you want a couple cremates in here? Just to like help trigger the whirling brutalizer? Draw plus whirling doesn't work. I feel like I feel like I could just work some cremates in here at the bottom and be fine. Let's just do this. Let's trim up. Let's put the extra vengeance on the board for now. Alright, so we want Well of Hatred. We want our Quash Ridge Rubble. Probably want Necropolis coins in this deck more than the charges, honestly. Like, Aggro deck definitely wants Necropolis coins. It's a hand giving a finger upside down. <laughs> I mean, it's still kind of like that, right? Like, this figure's up and this one's down. So, probably want, like, 15 blood in this deck. That's 15, and then we add 9 ruby, and that'll be 17. Perfect. Look how much easier two shard bases are. You definitely want repost in the reserves. 10 out of 10, out of 10 would like some repost. We can get some withering gaze up in here. Uh, probably want the last cremate. Suggestions on any other card? Pyre. Mine's Pyre rotated, right? Yeah. Uh, a couple of Pyre strikes probably aren't aren't the worst. Void target thing. Play a couple of cheap shots. Do we want Hero Fall? Hero Fall's probably kind of playable, right? We've got... 15 blood? Yeah, I could probably jam a pair of Hero Falls in here, right? It's probably not the worst. We have an extra one to sell, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Um, look at that. Deck list updated. God bless. That's so great. All right.